Just how optimistic are analysts about the chances of reunification? A professor of economics at Berlin's University of Applied Sciences joins us now, Sebastian Dulin. Thank you very much for coming in. Mr. Dulin, first of all, what do you think the chances are of a reunified Cyprus suddenly making headlines? Well, I'm an economist, not a political scientist, but uh, if I just look into history, uh, we have discussed reuniting uh, Cyprus before and it has failed. It's roughly 10 years ago and it was a huge disappointment for, for the European Union. So I don't necessarily see what should be different this time around. And, and it was a very good chance back then uh, for Cyprus to, to use that opportunity to reunite. At the moment, though, it's in a terrible situation economically. I isn't that also an opportunity? I mean, in, in desperation, won't people really be pushing for this this time? I mean, of course, you, you could think so. And um, if Cyprus would be reunited, this would remove some obstacles for, for the business sector. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, we have to see that uh, the, the, the problems of Cyprus are much larger. So this reunification would not be enough to get Cyprus out of the mess they are in. And second, um, especially if you have these, these conflicts like we have in Cyprus, mm -hmm. uh, small economic benefits usually don't trump uh, the, the ethnic or political considerations of the population. How bad is the situation at the moment? GDP? shrinking 6% last year, unemployment at a record 17%. Um, well, I mean, if, if I get the figures right, uh, since the beginning of the crisis, Cyprus, the Cypriot economy has shrunk by 15%. Mm -hmm. You can now say, well, this is better than Greece, but this is a little consolation for, for, for those living in Cyprus. So mm -hmm. it is a pretty deep crisis. It's something, for example, the Germans have never experienced after the Second World War. At the same time, if you look at what the banks are lending at the moment, uh, business lending, Cyprus is very different from its other southern, southern European neighbours. The latest figures from the European Central Bank show Cypriot lenders giving out more loans than a year ago. It looks like a small percentage change, but it's certainly very promising when you compare the island uh, to Greece, Spain or Portugal. The situation in Germany is a lot stronger, but so is the economy here. Um, which brings me to my next question. Is there a major imbalance developing in Cyprus? Um, what do you mean by imbalance? An exactly? imbalance in comparison to how healthy the economy is and what banks are actually lending. I mean, you, you need to see that uh, bank lending and the whole banking sector has contracted uh, very strongly. Mm -hmm. And so now this might be the first sign of a recovery, mm -hmm. but it is not a strong credit growth, which, which would uh, be the, the, the beginning of, of a very strong upswing. And you're talking about, of course, where, um, you know, disaster hit Cyprus and it, it had relied so much on banking, hadn't it? it what, what can it rely on now? Well, this is the interesting question because the business model Cyprus had before uh, probably is not viable for the future. They were an offshore banking center, mm. uh, which basically attracted deposits from Russian oligarchs and, uh, well, other foreigners. Um, they all had to bleed during the crisis uh, because they, they were bailed in, basically, so they didn't get all their money back. And they will think twice whether they will put their money again in a Cypriot bank. So Cyprus needs to think of something else to do. But whereas the Russian bankers might have left the island, the Russian tourists have started arriving. Is tourism a viable uh, solution for the island? It is possible. Tourism definitely is an option. But Cyprus needs to be aware that there are other players in southern Europe which also, uh, well, put their hopes on, on, on tourism. I mean, Greece would like to have a recovery based on tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, Turkey always has been a, a strong uh, actor, a strong player in tourism. And Northern Africa might be attractive again if they once get, get to grips uh, with their security issues. Okay, so Cyprus certainly facing a lot of challenges there. Thank you very much for coming in.